this video is going to be very interesting because I am going to run a bash script and it's going to count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and the file will be closed. So it's, it's opening a file and closing the file within few milliseconds. So how to create a bash script after some time it's supposed to kill the application. How that can be designed? So let's move on to our screen and get started. So let's see how to write the command. So we'll start with echo off and then we will put some color to our command prompt. I will say let's say green, yellow, whatever you want and then we should give it a title. So what is the title here? Batch script to kill process after some time, right? After some time. So this is the uh, bash script we would like to create. Now how do you start a process? Which command we have learned? Start, right? Start and I will say notepad.exe. Pretty simple command. How do you kill a process? For that we have learned in the yesterday's video. That is task kill, right? This is the uh, uh, command we have to use, task kill. Okay. Now we have also learned couple of parameters in that. If I have to force close, I will write F. If, if I have to, uh, you know, I have to provide the image name, I have to write slash IM. All this I have taught you. Now I am going to write notepad.exe. So what this will do? This is going to start notepad.exe and immediately close it. Yes or no? It will immediately close it. Let's see that. But here our requirement is slightly different. So for example, if I go and uh, double click on this, you can see it has started and it has immediately closed also. Do you see? It has been terminated. So it is terminating autumn, you know, quickly. So I have to provide a timeout. So what is that? For that, there is a command that is a new command that you will be learning. That is time out. Okay. And there are a few parameters. This T stands for time out in seconds. T means time. Okay. T. So in seconds, but it's in seconds format. So if I provide five, what would happen? It's going to wait for five seconds and then time out. I'll teach you so many things inside this wait. Okay. So now control S and let's run it. If you see, the countdown has started, right? Three, four, the notepad is also open in my background, right? And then after that is getting over, it closed it. Getting it? So if I put 10 seconds, it will run a countdown for 10 seconds and then it will close. Now there is a problem with this code. What is the problem? If you, if I run this, if I hit on enter, I'll go to the command prompt, hit on enter. The moment I hit on enter, it is closing. For example, let me show you with a bigger time. Let us put some 20 seconds of time, okay? Save it. And I'm going to run this. Now you can see the notepad has opened. I'll come to the command prompt. It is only 16 seconds. I'm going to hit on enter on this command prompt. Okay, I'm on the command prompt. Hit on enter. So what is happening? The process notepad with PID has been terminated. So it is terminating. If somebody is touching the keyboard, it is not ex ex exactly working properly. So for that, there is a one more parameter that you need to learn is no break. What is the parameter? No break parameter so once you put no break parameter what would happen even though somebody is hitting on the keyboard it's not going to stop the execution okay so let me hit on save and now let me show you it is running for 20 seconds right so let me double click on it now you can see uh, the notepad has been opened and the command prompt is also running and it's just 15 seconds i'll come to the command prompt and i'm going to hit on enter see i'm hitting on enter multiple times but it's not going to take the keystroke it's not going to accept the keystroke so now it will only close after 20 seconds only okay after 20 seconds you can see the notepad has been auto closed getting it so this is a very interesting thing that you have learned please make a note and there is also documentation from microsoft okay i would like to show you slash t so here this t donates timeout in seconds t stands for timeout okay uh, or the time in seconds now if somebody wants to keep it in milliseconds so uh, milliseconds in seconds you convert it will be 0, 0.00 whatever it is right you accordingly 0 point like that you can write or you can write one it can write two for example uh, if i put if you come here to the code i'll put 0 0.002 or 008 let's say something like that so it's in probably in milliseconds so i will save it and i'm going to just run it boom boom do you see in milliseconds it got closed so likewise likewise you can uh, know if you wanted to keep it in days so each second how many days you have to put that big number okay so after so many um, if i put let's say i don't know you can give it a count i put it maybe some after few days it will close 
getting it so um so these are the couple of interesting things that you have learned but again you will see rakesh uh, what if let's say you have put 999 and uh, uh, sorry I, I think i had put too many nines right one two three four five maximum five is allowed okay i'm so sorry yeah because that is there in the documentation right that is the max allowed okay so let me put something like this okay so save it and then if i'm going to run it okay now if you want to quit it because it is going to take a huge time right it's 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 going to take a huge time if you want to quit it you can do a control c and last terminate the batch job you can say yes put on enter it will automatically close okay getting it so these are the entire thing that you have learned from this video i am pretty sure you must be liking a lot of contents that we are creating on our channel please do subscribe and after you complete each of these videos please do type completed so that i know people are utilizing and it is benefiting the community thank you guys uh, thank you so much so let's move on to our next topic we'll see you in the next video bye bye